In the early 1990s, Motorola envisioned an entirely new global communication system, a network of satellites connecting people anywhere on the planet. They called this vision Iridium. Just over 10 years and $5 billion later, the system was in orbit and online. But it was already too late. Cellular phones popularity had soared and Iridium simply couldn't keep up. In 2000, Motorola pulled the plug and that could have been the end of the story. Enter a small group of forward-looking investors who understood Iridium technology was groundbreaking. They bought the bankrupt company and went back to work. Soon, subscribers came and the company became profitable, but a coherent long-term vision was still lacking. This changed in 2006 with the hiring of veteran telecom manager Matt Desch. Leveraging his industry experience and understanding of technology, Iridium started to reach its potential. New products, new markets, and new thinking have paid off. Iridium subscriber base and profits have skyrocketed. Iridium's sophisticated network, 66 satellites in low Earth orbit delivering voice and data service to the planet's entire surface, is still core to its success. There is no other satellite network like it. Its impact has been felt everywhere. Iridium helps keep crews in touch with their family and friends while at sea. Pilots communicate their positions and download flight plans and gate information. U.S. and friendly forces communicate securely and helps monitor fighter jets, submarines and troop carriers anywhere in the world. With new tiny data transmitters installed in machines of all sorts, Iridium helps global operations track and manage assets like heavy equipment, trains, trucks or shipping containers all in real time anywhere in the world. And of course, Iridium satellite phones are used by remote workers, public safety professionals, scientists and sportsmen in locations where cell towers don't exist or have been compromised by natural disasters. Iridium has even helped Jack Bauer save the world from imminent threat and Brad Pitt avert a zombie apocalypse. To ensure Iridium continues to lead the way, a program to refresh the existing network is underway. It's called Iridium Next, and at $3 billion, it's the world's largest ongoing commercial space venture. Iridium is on track to orbit 72 new satellites, most launched by fellow innovator SpaceX, starting in early 2015. In addition to enabling new services and higher data speeds, each Iridium Next satellite will carry a special payload with the potential to revolutionize air traffic control, flight optimization and safety, while saving airlines billions in fuel. To push the development of space forward even more, Iridium introduced Iridium Prime, the world's first turnkey satellite platform to help dramatically lower the cost to space for government and commercial payloads. Iridium will offer up to 66 new standalone satellites to the aerospace community to support a variety of additional missions, from weather monitoring and Earth observation to classified government missions and high-speed broadband connections. The possibilities for Iridium Prime are endless. With Iridium Next set for completion in 2017, Iridium's long-term vision and importance to global communication is becoming a reality and apparent to everyone, everywhere. The sky is truly the limit, and the future is very bright indeed.